In this video I am going to explain you about skin changes and weight gain during pregnancy. It's helpful for the women who is pregnant for the first time and do not know what are the physical changes that are going to take place in next 9 months, it's also helpful if you are trying to educate yourself about pregnancy. All signs that I am going to tell you are perfectly normal in pregnant women. Now let's discuss about skin changes taking place during pregnancy, the skin changes that I am going to explain are visible to our naked eye and no pregnant women should get panic attack after looking into these changes after watching this video. In general, pigmentation is seen in face, breast, abdomen and genital organs. In this video I am going to mention few medical terms, and common terms we use in day-to-day -day language to make you understand it in better way. First let's discuss about skin changes on face, on face we can find cloasma gravidarum or pregnancy mask, it is an extreme form of pigmentation around the cheek, forehead and around the eyes. It may be patchy or diffuse, disappears spontaneously after delivery. Commonly we call it as glowing skin. Then let's see what are the changes seen in the breasts, following are the visible changes seen in the breasts of pregnant women, number 1 increased size, number 2 visible bluish veins, number 3 pigmented large nipples. Prominent Montgomery tubercles, secondary areola, yellowish thick fluid can be squeezed from nipples. We should know the fact that, the changes in the breasts are best evident in a prima gravida, that is the women who is pregnant for the first time. In multipara, who has once lactated. The changes are not clearly defined. Increased size of the breasts becomes evident even in early weeks. Maybe these are few early symptoms you might notice in your early pregnancy, this is due to marked hypertrophy and proliferation of the ducts due to estrogen and the alveoli due to estrogen and progesterone. Vascularity is increased which results in appearance of bluish veins running under the skin. Quite often, the axillary tail, that is prolongation of the breast tissue under cover of the pectoralis major becomes enlarged and painful. There may be evidence of striation due to stretching of the skin. The nipples become larger, erectile and deeply pigmented. Variable number of sebaceous glands that is 5 to 15 which remain invisible in the non-pregnant state in the areola, become hypertrophied and medically these are called as Montgomery's tubercles. Those are placed surrounding the nipples. Their secretion keeps the nipple and the areola moist and healthy. An outer zone of less marked and irregular pigmented area appears in second trimester and is called secondary areola. Colostrum can be squeezed out of the breast at about 12th week which at first becomes sticky. Later on, by 16th week, it becomes thick and yellowish. The demonstration of secretion from the breast of a woman who has never lactated is an important sign of pregnancy. In later months, colostrum may be expressed from the nipples. Then in abdomen we can find two types of skin changes that is, linea nigra and, striae gravidarum. Linea nigra, is a brownish-black pigmented area in the midline stretching from the xiphus sternum to the symphysis pubis. The pigmentary changes are probably due to melanocyte-stimulating hormone from the anterior pituitary. However, estrogen and progesterone may be related to it, as similar changes are observed in women taking oral contraceptives. The pigmentation disappears after delivery. Striae gravidarum, these are slightly depressed linear marks with varying length and breadth found in pregnancy. They are predominantly found in the abdominal wall below the umbilicus, sometimes over the thighs and breasts. These stretch marks represent the scar tissues in the deeper layer of the skin. Initially, these are pinkish but after the delivery, the scar tissues contract and obliterate the capillaries and they become glistening white in appearance and are called striae albicans. Apart from the mechanical stretching of the skin, increase in aldosterone production during pregnancy are the responsible factors. Controlled weight gain during pregnancy. And massaging the abdominal wall by lubricants like olive oil may be helpful in reducing their formation. Apart from pregnancy, it may form in cases of generalized edema, marked obesity or in Cushing syndrome. Finally let's see what are the changes seen in genital organs, vagina looks bluish in color due to increased blood supply of the venous plexus surrounding the walls. Medically we call it as Jack Amir's sign. Also, vaginal walls become hypertrophied, edematous and more vascular. The length of the anterior vaginal wall is increased. Secretion. The secretion becomes copious, thin and curdy white due to marked exfoliated cells and bacteria. There are marked hypertrophy and hyperplasia of the glands which occupy about half the bulk of the cervix. All these lead to marked softening of the cervix. Medically we call it as Goodell's sign. Now let's discuss about weight gain in pregnancy. In normal pregnancy, variable amount of weight gain is a constant phenomenon. In early weeks, the patient may lose weight because of nausea or vomiting. During subsequent months, the weight gain is progressive until the last one or two weeks, when the weight remains static. The total weight gain during the course of a singleton pregnancy for a healthy woman averages 11 kg. This has been distributed to 1 kg in first trimester and 5 kg each, in second and third trimester. 
To summarize this video normal changes seen during pregnancy are as follows, on face, face pregnancy mask in the breasts, increased size, visible bluish veins, pigmented large nipples prominent Montgomery tubercles. Secondary areola, yellowish thick fluid can be squeezed from nipples. Then in abdomen we can find two types of skin changes that is, linea nigra and, strii gravidarum. Then in vagina bluish discoloration of vagina. Softening of cervix curdy white discharge from vagina then about weight gain 1 kg in first trimester 5 kg each in second and third trimester that is, in total 15 kg gain during pregnancy is normal. Hope it's helpful for you, if you like my contents please subscribe and press the bell icon so that I can reach you every time I upload new videos. Thank you for watching, see you in next video.